Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my home. My name is Lynn Wilson. We're doing on the fly, impromptu video, it was not planned, but it's one of those things as a YouTuber, you have to get in your mind of when things happen, you need to film it because people want to know what's going on. So um, today was one of those days where you know you wake up with a headache, you wake up kind of feeling eh, but you know what you have to do. So my plans were this. Go to work, do a good job, do a good day's worth of work. And I was going to be heading out tomorrow, not away, but taking a few days off to plan and have my dad's memorial service. So I took some time off and my husband's birthday is coming up. Anybody wants to wish Graham happy birthday? He's gonna be 60, wish him a happy birthday. Love my honey. And he's smiling behind the camera. So give him a thumbs up send him birthday wishes let him know that you think he's kind of cute i he would love that and he's giggling behind us here but anyway birthday surprises memorial service for my dad so i took some time off so now the panic's on you know you go to work you got to get done you got to get done in addition to that i have a podcast called hope for today some of you i know follow me on that as well you can catch that on youtube or um, you can just Google Hope for Today with Lynn Wilson. It'll come up, show you the different platforms that it is on. And that is a faith-based podcast. So if you're interested in something like that, check it out. Third season will be airing next Tuesday, 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. And we're talking about refreshment. Woo, yeah, I need that. So I had plans to record my podcast. I had to record two of them. I'm teaching at a homeschool co-op on home ec, something nobody teaches anymore. So my microwave's beeping, hold on. Okay, it was annoying me. So I'm teaching a 12 week program. So I had to get my final lesson plans submitted and all that kind of stuff, got that going on. Oh, gotta work, do my normals. Oh, get done on time because last night I got a message from someone in my family. I'm not feeling good, I'm a little sick. She went and got tested for that thing going around and they're fine, they do not have it. They have what's called a common cold. You know, we forget that there is things like that these days. But in the podcast, I was talking about making plans and being flustered with change of plans. And many of you have watched, I've been doing my videos in my dining room area, family room area, and I have Star Trek in there. Yes, I'm a Trekkie along with my husband and my oldest son. Oh yeah, big time Trekkies. But I had pictures in there and somebody made a comment about, oh, I see Spock. Well, one of the things I learned from a Star Trek video was that when life deals you something, you need to be flexible. And what he did is he used a plant as a visual. I like, I'm a visual person. I like, as you can see, I like things out. I need things out. I'm not one to, you know, I don't hide things in my cabinets. I can't stand that. If I have things, I want them out, a visual. So I'm gonna give you a visual. So he said, if you are not flexible, like this piece here, this twig, if you go to bend it, it just snaps. Look at that. You can't really bend it because it's brittle. And I wanted to remind myself today with the changes that were happening quickly, I went in to record two podcasts, got one done, but the setup and the layout I was supposed to be in wasn't ready, so we had to do something else. Then I recorded the second one, but we ran out of space on the SD card, so we didn't realize that and only recorded it once. The sun was shining, the blades, the blinds weren't in yet. We had to improvise, ah, oh, have to be flexible or I would snap. But here is nice green twig. Look at that, you bend it, it bends. See that? It bends, it bends, it bends. And that's what I needed to be. So I thought, what a great visual to jump on here and say, don't be like this brown, brittle piece of twig where you're gonna snap every time change happens. Let's be like this nice green bendable one that you can just bend and go with the flow. So when I got the call last night that somebody in our family was sick, she said, I would love some of your homemade soup. What? I haven't gone grocery shopping. What do I do? Oh, don't be inflexible and snap, be bendable. So I thought, well, let me see what I can find. 
tell you guys to have a stockpile. You never know when you're going to need to share with somebody. So we're going to do it. We've got soup, we've got sickness, but we're going to have satisfaction tonight because I'm going to throw something together. I'm going to make a soup. I have all kinds of stuff. I have a package of this. You saw this on my haul. Chicken noodle soup. I can add water. We could be good. But I want to make it semi-homemade. So I could throw in a can of cream of chicken soup, make it a little bit more tasty. I have some chicken stock I need to use up. I have my faithful Marmite. I have a can of chicken I can put in to add a little extra bulk. I have some white beans. I can add a few white beans in there. I have, I've canned my own uh, peas and carrots, so I can add extra of that. I've got some extra chicken bouillon. I have some garlic and onion powder I can put in. I have some, you know, fresh garlic, so to speak, chopped up. And what else do I have? I guess that's about it. Oh, I have this. This is peppers and onions and carrots and celery. And it's a dehydrated mix of stuff. Oh, I wish you could smell it. So I'm probably going to throw that in there. My oven is beeping at me. It's up to 500 degrees because I'm getting ready to make my two ingredient biscuits to go with the soup as a little extra surprise. So here's what we're going to do. I don't know what I'm going to make. I'm making soup a la Lynn. We're going to be flexible. We're going to go with whatever vibes I feel. That's what's going in the pot. I'm going to get that going to a boil. I'm going to make my two ingredient biscuits. After that, I'll show you what the soup looks like. We'll do a taste test together, show you the biscuits, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm going to assemble it to bring it to this family member that's sick and to tell you, listen, don't be brittle like this. Be flexible like this. Somebody calls, needs your help. If you have that stockpile, use up the bits and pieces you have. Be creative, be flexible. Soup, sickness, and satisfaction is the theme tonight, so let's do this. Let me tell you, I have some words for this soup. Oh my word. That's all I have to say. I'm telling you, you all need a house call, you know to come to this mama here. The soup is, I tasted it. I was like, this is good that my husband tasted it. My son, Mr. Picky. So I have now a mug for him and some biscuits. So I did make some of my two ingredient biscuits. They smell like shortbread. They're a little flat because they're, ooh, they're two ingredient, but man, oh man, are they good. So my son has a mug of soup and he has some biscuits on the side. And you saw some of those pictures leading up. The soup was bubbling away. I'm telling you, it is divine. If you're sick, this is the kind of soup you need. And listen, I just gave you a way out. You can go semi-homemade. You don't have to write from scratch. Grab what you have and throw some extras in there and create homemade from maybe a starter kit. It's okay. You don't have to tell anybody. I have sweat dripping down because I'm standing in front of my oven 
that was on 500 degrees for my biscuits. Hot stuff. Not me, the temperature. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> my kitchen's a mess. This is a real kitchen. I'm running out the door after we hit stop on this video. So I apologize for those of you that are neat freaks. I made biscuits, I made soup, I'm wrapping a basket. Here's what I'm doing, okay? We could hand them soup, we could hand them soup and biscuits, but I want to go and make that person feel really special. So I grabbed a basket that I had an extra. I have a doily, just, you know, cheapy one. That's going in the bottom. I added some Dollar Tree. Can you see this room from here? Should I hold it up? Um. Now, yep. if I have it down here, what's best? Uh, it's so actually, it's hold it up. And... All right, right about there. Perfect. All right, guys, see that? I put a, this uh, ribbon thing that you get on a roll from Dollar Tree. So I added Dollar Tree ribbon to this. I have a book from Dollar Tree, Fearfully and Wonderfully Made, a little journal. I know she loves pumpkins in fall, so I put in the packs of stickers I had, grabbed bits and pieces, fragments of what I had. I had an extra tea towel, so I'm putting that in there. I'm putting the hot soup. It's in the container. I'm putting it right in here. This is a super sturdy basket. Like this is really sturdy. I will carry it from the bottom, but this way I won't burn myself. And then let me see. Okay, then I have a teapot. It's the teapot with tea for one. So I'm gonna loan her that so she can have a teapot to make some tea because you know, nothing better or worse than when you don't feel good. So then I had one of these little scrunchy bags I got this at Dollar Zone, but I have Echinacea Plus Tea. I have Throat Soother Tea. I have some Peppermint Tea, Infused Tea, Nightly Tea in case you can't sleep, and Breathe Easy Tea. So this, this girl's gonna feel good, so she can make some tea. So we're gonna stick this in here. Now I gotta figure out how to do this. So maybe, 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 let me take the teapot out. And then I'll kind of show you guys. Oh, and I wrapped the biscuits. So I had, remember those plates that I picked up at the Dollar Tree? And I said I'm going to use as a gift. Put the biscuits in some foil. Remember the parchment paper I picked out? Real cheap. I picked that up at the Christmas tree shop. Put that on there with another little ribbon. So we're going to put the plate here. i got to figure out how to fit all this. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll just put the plate in there. Stand it up. Put the teapot in. It doesn't all fit perfectly, so we, we're gonna we're gonna be flexible. We're not gonna bend, right? Because my plans are changing as we speak. Put the muffins in like this, get the tea in like that. Soup, sickness, but satisfaction. Here we go, guys. What do you think? Doing good for others, That's homemade good. soup, homemade biscuits, a little packet of tea, some journaling cards, some stickers, a nice little plate. Would that make you feel better? So if you're not feeling well, you know who to call. I want to thank you for coming over. Stay tuned for another up and coming video.